Hey, 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 what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Six Days. I am Bob Six, and today I am reacting to Lil Peep, Nose Ring, and About You. If you've checked out my schedule on Instagram, which is if you haven't, you really should, <laughs> um, it says, Let Me Die. I realized that that is when I was pulling it up on YouTube. It's a tribute song, and I will do that later. Uh, I've got so many actual peep song suggestions that I'm just going to bump that down the list. It's staying on the list, but I'm going to do actual peep songs first. You know, there's some redo some people want me to do because like I did the live version but they want this the official video version or I didn't use a lyric version they want me to use a lyric version so I've added those to the very bottom of the list and I've explained as I'll explain with this one once I finish all the other peep suggestions then I'll do the redos and tributes stuff like that um, that doesn't include interviews I'll do the interview stuff that I have on the list already but I just some don't feel right or seem right to me to do that when I'm doing a double shot of peep to actually do someone else's tribute to them. I hope that makes sense. If you're new to the channel and you haven't clicked off yet, is what I do real 100% genuine reactions. When you see me react to a song, that is the first time I've heard it. I don't watch these in advance, I don't read up on them so I can preform an opinion. I don't rehearse my reactions. I don't uh, do all that overreacting you see on the other channels. It's real genuine. If I like it, I'm going to tell you. And if I think it sucks, well, I'm going to tell you that too. And the important thing is, I'll give you a reason for all of it. I don't just say, I like it or it sucks. I have a reason for liking it. And if that sounds like something you might be into, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell so you know every time I release new content. So let's get into this little peep. Nose ring. Gotta make sure I was on the right video. Today I'm drinking Mountain Dew Zero. I'm not getting paid to say that. Just happens to be what I'm drinking. With a five hour energy shot in it. I don't get paid for that either. We have all of it planned out, baby girl. What the fuck is the plan now? We have all of it planned out, baby girl. Who the fuck is your man now? We have I like this. He is saying a lot. I know a lot of people don't like when I don't like some of the songs where he just repeats like the same eight lines over and over. This is totally not that. He, there's a lot being said and is all genuine, real, young love kind of thing. You know, I warn my daughter, you're, you're going to have guys tell you when you're young, oh, I love you. I didn't know what love was for real until I was 27. And even then I was kind of iffy about it. So for an, 
16, 17, 18 year old boy, I'm not saying people's that young at this time, to tell you that he loves you, no, it's, it's just new. You know, a lot of kids grow up watching their parents and they think, oh, well, that's what love is. Meanwhile, they don't realize when they're from normal families, not <laughs> dysfunctional families like I grew up in. When you're in a normal family, your parents don't fight in front of you. You know, you think everything's all, oh, well, that's what love is. That's part of it. That's not the whole thing. You don't see what's going on behind the scenes. So when you're young and you get in a new relationship and it's all shiny and new and you're driving it around, oh, look at this. And all of a sudden you have a few accidents and there's a few dents in it and the paint's starting to fade and it's starting to burn a little oil and the tires are bald and it breaks down every three days. Well, shit, I'll just walk. And that's when you go your separate ways. Then as you walk, you go, well, the car was still better than walking. So you go back, it's still a piece of shit. That's how relationships are. Most of the time. People get into them, and once it starts to get clunky and hard, they break up, and then when they get away from each other, and they got new eyes to look at it, they go, oh shit, things weren't too bad, and they get back in. It's still the same clunker you got out of. Once in a while, I mean, it takes both parties to change. Relationships are really hard. And that's exactly what he's saying. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me and go, no, I've listened to this song a thousand times, watched 17 interviews, and I know that you're wrong. My initial take with, or initial reaction, with older, more experienced eyes about relationships. You know, fame, you think, is going to make the girl that you loved or the one that got away want you. No, they just want the fame. They don't want you. And they'll talk shit behind your back and they'll use you. Oh, yeah, I know him. Yeah, we were hooked up way before he got famous. We're old. For, we go way back. Yeah, that, that kind of shit happens. But he's saying a lot in this song, and I got all that out of the first minute and 46 seconds. Little peep, bitch, I'm a no name. But it's a lot of shit that I don't say. Like I've been on my house for the whole way. I ain't never quitting, there's no way. I know you see me making my own. I'm going to say one more thing. I know it's a short song. You're going, stop doing that! And it's almost over anyways. What a dumbass. I could have waited. I cannot count in my younger days how many times after a relationship was wrecked, I went, well, this didn't go according to plan. I still say that when I mess up shit these days. I don't mess up my relationship, but every other thing I mess up, oh, well, that's not how I plan this. So that, that him saying that over and over kind of really rings true to me. I'm going to talk a whole lot now because I've already said everything I need to say. I, I like that song. He said a lot in that song. And it all ties into someone as insecure. Uh, as No matter how secure you are and who you are. When you're young and you're first getting in relationships and stuff. Especially when it don't work out. You know, you think you found the one and it turned out it's not. There's always those questions and that, oh, shit, well, if I had this, you know, I'd throw it all away for you, but I'm not going to. This is what I do. That, that motion up and down. And I really don't know if that was his intent when he wrote the song, but if it just flows out or if it's just my experience causing me to interpret it that way. So let's check out About You.
I know I'm solving this really quick. I am really big stickler, stickler for people saying that. Um, <clears throat> too many people tie love and sex together. They have nothing to do with each other. I'm sure you were brought up to believe that, the fairy tale ending and all that stuff, but don't tie the two together. Ever. Sex is sex. You're not making love. Even if you get pregnant, you may make a baby that you may love more than life itself, but the act of getting pregnant was not making love. And who wants to make love anyways if you went by the typical making love ideal, I guess? How boring. Nobody does that. Well, I'm sure somebody does it, but nobody that's really enjoying themselves is doing that. So I find that funny when he said that. I'm not going to say the word because YouTube frowns upon it when I say it. But the F word that I use all the time when I'm not on camera... That's exactly what you're doing. But I still love you. You see, they're not the same. They don't go, they don't really go together. I've been by myself for a long time. I just wish that I could know if I was on your mind. Running out of time. I just wish that I could know if you were by my side. Like that one too it it captures that that the emotions that's the one thing I, I like about most of peeps music is like I've said from the beginning he's not the best singer he's not the best songwriter the arrangements aren't the best but what he does is truly writes from the heart he captures that raw emotion that we can all relate to and I say all because it literally is everybody if they would just get past the looks. Uh, one of my viewers said that they tried to show a video to their grandma and the grandma couldn't get past his look. If that's how you're looking at people, that's your definition. You have problems yourself. We're all different. We all express ourselves differently. Now... Granted, you wouldn't want to pull over and pick up someone in a bloody t-shirt and a hockey mask with a machete. In that case, yes, judge by the looks. But just because somebody has pink hair and tattoos and earrings doesn't mean they're the guy in the bloody t-shirt and the mask with a machete. Damn. Also, <laughs> since YouTube's being so weird lately, 
and I know I have people under 18 that watch my videos, what I was saying about sex earlier, you should wait until you're 18. <laughs> I'm sorry, I try my best to say it with a straight face. I can't tell you what to do or not to do. That's not my job here. My job is to give you my reaction. I like both of those songs. He said a lot in them, captured that young love kind of stuff. And if you don't take anything else away from my reaction, remember, sex and love have nothing to do with each other. Don't put them that way. That causes a lot of heartache. That's that you'll find as you get older in life. Don't don't not take this wrong. It does not become less important. It is not something you just ah who needs that shit even though there's a lot of people that say that. It's still awesome. But having someone to love and spend your life with, your experiences, sex is the least amount of stuff y'all are doing together. Yes, early you're doing it a lot, but that becomes less important. It's going places, seeing stuff for the first time together, having experiences for the first time together. That's what's most important. So quit focusing on the sex. I mean, hell, Unless both of your hands fall off at the elbows, you really don't even need another person for that. So quit putting all the focus on that. That that messes up a lot of people's views and puts them in situations like this. And I'm not saying that's what people's doing. Man, I'm ranting like a preacher. And the test says, damn it. I really didn't want to be that guy, but it's what I was thinking about because he kept saying it in, in the thing. When it got kept saying it, but when he said it, it made me think. A lot of people focus. I did. I I thought that was the most important thing. But you'll realize if you separate the two, this is love and this is the fun stuff. Having someone to experience your life with that you know has your back, that would die for you, that would hold you, like he said in the song. That is the most important thing in the world. So, let me get off this rickety-ass soapbox and stop my preaching. Of course, nobody's probably left here. They probably already shut off because analytics tell me y'all only watch, on average, 3 minutes and 46 seconds of a video. So, I'm by myself right now, except maybe two of you. Which is why I say little shit like this at the end, because then I know who watched the whole video. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to make someone laugh if you get the chance. Tell your friends and family that you love them each and every time you leave because you just never know when that will be the last time you get a chance to tell them. Until next time, I am the Reverend Bob Six. Peace. <laughs>